Hey friends, welcome to today's workout. Today's workout is a four group superset. So we are gonna do four exercises in quick succession, take a little break, do them all again. And then we've got four groups of those four exercises that we're gonna do two times. Uh, within that, the first set is gonna be 45 seconds long because it'll take us a little longer to switch over. The second set is 40 seconds long because we're gonna be quick smack on it. All right, so we're gonna get into a dynamic warm up to get our bodies warmed up. We'll just start with some marching here. So bringing our knees up towards our chest, uh, keeping strong through our core and swinging those shoulders side to side. As the last few have been, this exercise is going to be pregnancy friendly. Today, you will want to have some weights, five pound weights or shampoo and conditioner are great. Um, and you'll also want to have a chair with a back. All right, so you just need to be able to sit on it, use the front side, and also have the raised side at the back, if that's possible for you. You could use a yoga wall, a yoga ball, and your wall as well if that's where you're at today. If you can't find a chair, if you're downstairs and you don't want to go upstairs, I get it. Also, don't pick too comfy of a chair, otherwise you might not get back up. All right, we're gonna widen that stance and just do some toe taps. Side one and two, opening up through the hips, bringing a smile to your face, keeping a proud chest. I hope you've got a bottle of water as well. You'll need it as our body gets warmed up. Perfect. And three, two, one, putting the heels down into the ground, sending the hips low and back for little squats and arm raise at the top. There we go. Keeping the proud chest again. Nothing too difficult on your body here. You don't want to be breathing at a 10 out of 10 here, maybe a six out of 10. So you can notice that your breath is getting harder to come by, but you could still have a conversation. All right, great job. Beautiful. And three, two, one. Awesome, now we're gonna plant those feet underneath the hips, arms out like goalposts, and just twisting through the side and other side. Keeping the hips steady, the glutes engaged. So we're just twisting through our side, through our center. And as always, if anything makes you uncomfortable in this workout today, feel free to take that 45 seconds off. Feel free to take a little breather. Press pause if you need it. I'll never know. I'll never know. Great job. And three, two, one. Awesome, just some heel to the glutes. Get the quads warmed up. Get the calves going when you kick those heels up at the end. The calves can feel it. Nice wide stance. It's important to keep the body strong during pregnancy. I'm sure you well know. All right. So our first set of four exercises is squat with an overhead press, uh, chair taps, um, hamstring curl left, and left on our first go, right on our second go, and then a split squat left and right as well. All right. So we're going to start with that squat with an overhead press. Two weights resting on your shoulders, just like this, if you're comfortable with that. Three, two, one, hips low and back. And as you come up, pushing those weights up to the sky, breathing out as your body is pushing up, in as you come back down. And squeezing the glutes at the top, if you're gassing out, go for one arm at a time, or just let those weights sit on your shoulders and continue on with the squats. Great work. I'm gonna continue holding these weights 
for the next exercise, the chair taps. And three, two, one. Work. Super easy. It's a sit down and a stand up. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Sit down, stand up. All right. Keeping the back strong while we do this. Keeping the core engaged. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Breathing out while you come up, in while you go down. Great job. After this one, we're going to come into a tabletop position. Might take you a few seconds to get there. That's cool. You can tuck a weight into your knee if you so choose. We'll do our left leg first. Three, two, one. Perfect. Coming into tabletop. If you desire to, getting that weight lodged in and up and hover at the bottom. Up and hover at the bottom. Keeping your toes alive here. Breathing out while your weight goes up. In while it comes down. Trying to not let your back sway too much here. Keeping your core engaged. Now we're going to come into that split squat, so we'll rest one foot on the chair and just coming down and up. I need to get a little more forward here. There we go. Down and up. Down and up. All right. There's a few variations of this one. You can tuck your toes underneath on that chair. All right. You don't have a chair you can just do your standard split squat or steady lunge all right and three two one beautiful all right we have a 40 second rest before we do all of that again i'm going to take a sip of water So we're gonna come back into that squat with an overhead press, chair taps, hamstring curl on the right side, and right side split squat, or uh, I can't think of the word, steady lunge. Okay, grab those weights, three, two, one. Here we go. Squatting down and pushing up as you come up. Down and down, up and up. Great work. Making sure to breathe out as you come up. If you're gassing out, you can let those weights rest on your shoulders, still doing the squat motion, or do one at a time to lower your time under tension for the arms. Three, two, one. Perfect. Chair taps. Just letting your bottom come to the chair. It's like a mini squat. All right, with a little extra guidance. Those quads are working. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Breathing out as you come up. After this, we'll go into our hamstring curl on the right side. Three, two, one. Here we go, up and hover at the bottom, up and hover at the bottom. Breathing out as that weight and your leg goes up, in as it comes down. Try to keep your hips level. Really pushing through that glute with your hamstrings. We got 
three, two, one, up to the split squat. All right, just down and up, down and up. Again, if you don't have a chair, you can just do split lunges. All right, just like this, up and down. That works too. Hi, puppy. Whatever works for your body today, keeping your upper body upright as possible. And three, two, one. Perfect. All right, that is set one. We're done. We'll take a sip of water. Get to take the lid off. There you go. Now I've got an audience with a wig and tail. Hey, pupper. All right, so our next set of exercises is a renegade bird dog. So we're going to come into bird dog position and um, with some renegade pulls. And then we will do a kneeling chest fly. Um, and then we'll do the chair glute raise. So we're going to do the glute raise, but starting on the chair. So it's a little bit um, more focused on our glutes that way. And then we're going to turn over and do a chair push-up. If the chair push-up is too much to you for you, just go over to the wall and do wall push-ups instead, all right? You can choose any level on that wall that works for your body. So we're going to start with the renegade bird dog. You'll want to choose your left or your right side. I'll start with my left. So left arm, right leg. All right, starting in tabletop position. And I should turn this way. Three, two, one. So as you pull up, you stretch that leg out and then coming back down. Keeping your weight close to your rib cage as it comes up. Pulling up and down, up and down. Tail, you go lay down. Up and down. Breathing out as the weight goes up. If you want to level this up, you can hover that level, hover your knee and the weight at the bottom. Taya's sighing like she's doing the workout. Three, two, one. Coming into that chest fly in a kneeling position. All right, so just sitting on your heels out to the side and in. Open and in. All right, you've got a few options here. You can do this full extension or you can do goalpost variation. You can also do one arm at a time. Great job. You're strong. You're doing this. Even if you have to take a break, you're still strong. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. We're going to lay with our head and shoulders on the chair. Push those glutes up and release. Up and release. Breathing out as you come up, in as you go down, squeezing the glutes to push you up and using your adductor muscles, that's your inner thighs, to push those knees towards each other. Keeping your core nice and tight, zipping up and in. Three, two, one, we'll flip over. There we go. All right, you can hold onto the sides of the chair, keeping your elbows close to your chest as you come down. Again, if you don't have the chair, you can come into a modified push up, just coming on your knees like so. Or you can go against the wall like this. All right, this would be level one, chair level two, knee level two and a half. And if you're pregnant, then three, two, one, 
then probably level three wouldn't work for you because your belly will bounce before your knee get before your nose gets too close to the ground. We're down in set one, so we've got 40 second break here. Take a little breather. Perfect. All right, we're gonna come back to that renegade bird dog on the other side. Okay, yeah, you go, you go, you go lay down. Okay, here we go. Let's do this side. Nope, this side. Three, two, one. And drop. Right arm up and down as your left leg goes up and down. All right, pulling that weight up close to your chest. Great job. Breathing out as your weight goes up, in as it comes down, and letting the knee only hover at the bottom if you want to level this up. Three, two, one. Onto your knees. You can do your full chest fly like this. All right. Or you can goal post that motion and come in and open. In and open. Great job. You can do one hour at a time if you're totally gassing out, but we've only got eight seconds left. And then we're on to our Glute lift, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeezing those glutes to push your belly up. Squeezing your adductors to keep your knees in. All right. Here we're trying to keep our core supported. One more exercise after this and we're halfway done already. Three, two, one. Flip over oh, into whichever variation of whoops, push-ups you chose. There we go, down and up. All right. Working those triceps, your chest muscles, your back muscles your core, and if you're gassing out in one, just try your next level. No harm in that. It's better to keep going at a lower level than to stop. Three, two, one, amazing. All right, we are half done. Let's take that water break. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna turn the chair around, just like so, all right? Here we go, we're gonna do mostly arms in this one. We've got another version of a squat as well, uh, just a uh, inner core strengthening version of the squat. We will start though with a hammer curl, so grab your weights, all right? Come into a nice sturdy position. Three, two, one, shoulders roll back. Arms coming up and down. I forgot to tell you the list of exercises. So here we're doing a hammer curl. All right, weights are pointed towards me. Coming up and down, our core is engaged, our glutes are braced, and our legs are slight, knees are slightly bent. Then we are going to do a tricep extension over our heads. That's the peekaboo version. And then after that, we will do a squat holding the back of the chair. So we should be able to get a little lower in that squat by holding the back of the chair for some extra balance. Our fourth exercise will be not YMCAs. They will be YTWs. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, tricep extension over the head. One weight or two. Coming up and down, up and down. The rest of your body from your shoulders down 
is all in one position. So your core is engaged, your glutes are braced, and your knees are softly bent. Here you are trying to keep your elbows as steady as possible, close to your head, using your upper arms, your forearms, to um, lift that weight um, by movement, but you're using your tricep muscle to do so. Beautiful. And three, two, one. Awesome. Grab the back of that chair and just holding down as low as you can go and back up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Low as you can go and back up. All right, because we have this extra balance here, we can push ourselves a little further. All right, squeezing up and in through that core as we come up. This should help us with some of the issues we have during pregnancy or postpartum. Um, it might help us have less bathroom breaks throughout the night as well. Anything that strengthens those muscles. Three, two, one. Here we go, we're gonna come into Y position. Y, T, W. Pushing up through those shoulders to get up to the Y, T, W. Y, T, W. Beautiful. Breathing out as your weights go up. Awesome job. Again, tight core, braced glutes, soft bend in the knees. Beautiful work. Good job. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, now we've got that 40 second break where you can take a water sip if you need one. And then we'll come into our second round, starting with the hammer curls again. If you're not feeling like those biceps are gassed out after the hammer curls, you can up your weights if you'd like. I always like to push the biceps a little hard. They're your pretty muscles, why not, right? Roll those shoulders back, proud chest. Pull down the shirt if you need to. We'll start in three, two, one. Up and down. Breathing out as your weights go up. In as they come down. Great work. Attempting to control that sway so there's no back and forward sway. There's no help coming from your back. It's all your biceps doing this work. Great job, three, two, one. Tricep extension. Over the head, up and down, up and down. Breathing out as your weight goes up, in as it comes down. All right, good work. You're rocking this. You wanna to come to about 90% extension at the top. Three, two, one. Hold that chair for your low squats. Nice wide stance, coming down and up. Down and up. If you don't have a chair, just do some standard squats, no issues, nothing wrong with that. And because we're holding onto the chair for balance, we're gonna end up leaning forward a little bit here. We're getting extra low. It's all good. There's a little bit of cardio in here. My heart rate is definitely increasing as I do these low squats. Three, two, one. Awesome, YTWs, last round. Y, T, W, Y, T, W. After this, we've got one more set of four exercises and we're done, just like that. 
We'll have a quick little cool down and you can get on with your day. I'm gonna make some supper. Got a hungry husband. Awesome work. Three, two, one. Amazing. All right, put those weights down. Enjoy your well deserved sip of water. All right, our fourth group of exercises is ladies on a beach. Um, so we'll come onto the side plank and then we are going to do, I can't read my own writing. Oh, we're gonna hold a warrior position. So we're gonna come into that high lunge with our heel off of our mat and arms up. We're just gonna hold this. All right, depending on where you're at, you might be here, you might be way down here, whatever works for your body, one side and then the other for the Second exercise, then we're gonna do standing elbow knee, knee crunches, so side to side. All right, and last exercise is gonna be a standing crunch. So we're just gonna bend down and come up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Ready for our last group of exercises? I'm gonna move my chair so I don't bang into it. Coming down on the ground to start. Sending that left leg up in the air. Three, two, one. You can lift your hip if that works for you. If it doesn't, that's cool too. And if you'd like, you can also add in the side crunch. So that would just be going up and down and then a crunch up and over maybe. What would you say that motion is? I don't know. Otherwise, up and down, up and down. And if you find you're gassing out, let your hip come to the ground and continue on with that leg raise. Whew. Breathing out as you come up. You can have your hand over your head. If it's more comfortable holding your belly, that also is good. Three, two, one. Work. Send that left leg in front of that right leg. All right, nice and strong, steady stance here. Your front knee is over your front ankle. And when you're ready, we're just gonna send those shoulders up, fingers up, gaze up, and trying to keep your head over heart, heart over pelvis, all right? This one might not feel like a whole lot at the beginning, but as you hold it, you will begin to feel more and more work coming out of your body. After this, we'll do those elbow knees. Three, two, one. Here we go. Standing steady. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. There we go. Not doing anything to cause us. I can't say that word. The split ab thing, you know. You know what I'm saying. Great job. Breathing out as you work so hard. Three, two, one. Awesome. Standing crunches, so just coming down and up, squeezing the glutes. Down and up, soft bend in the knees down and up. If you'd like to, you can drag one foot behind, intensifying the work on your front leg, and then switch next time. Breathing out as you're coming up. Great work. Three, two, one. Awesome. Water break and then we're on to our last set of our last exercises. How speedy was that? Right? Right. Okay. We're going to start with ladies on a beach side too. So that'll be my right side. Oh, 
takes so long to get down and up these days. Remember, you can lift your hip if that's what works for you. If it doesn't, no worries. You can hand on your belly or on your hip or over your head. Anything that feels good. What matters is that you showed up. Three, two, one. Up and down. Up and down. And if you'd like to, you can add in that crunch. <sighs> Whatever works for your body today. It might not be the same as yesterday or tomorrow. <sighs> we have to listen to our bodies for sure. <sighs> if you're gassing out, you can let that hip rest down on the ground. Three, two, one, into that warrior position. Right uh, knee over right heel. Gaze up, fingers up, shoulders up. And trying to keep that head over heart, heart over pelvis. Not a big, huge sway in the back. So keeping that core in as much as you can. Working on those back muscles, trying to keep the hips level so your right hip isn't more forward than your left hip. I can feel this in my hips. My hips have been so tight. Three, two, one. Elbow to knee. Here we go. Get that heart rate up again. cardio than what we've been recording lately. Remember your crunch can be small depending on the size of your bump. It might have to be small. All right, that's okay. And five more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Bending and up. Bending and up. You're gonna work the hamstrings and the core in this one. Squeezing the glutes as you come to the top. Flat back position at the bottom. If you're able to, if you're not there, just go to what feels good. Great work. 10 more seconds and we're on to the cool down. Three, two, one. Amazing. Awesome job. All right, let's grab a quick sip of water here. Beautiful. All right, nice wide leg stance. Left arm down, left leg, right arm over. Stretching out through the right side, through the right shoulder, tricep. All right, should feel good. Great job today. Thank you for joining me. Feels good to be back on the mat. And other side. In case you're wondering, I did do a half marathon, not a full marathon, but I still did participate in the race that I had been training for before I found out that I was expecting. Back to center, hands clasped behind your back. Point those shoulders and chin towards the sky, stretching through the front of your chest. Perfect. All right, grab a wall for balance. You might be able to do it without the wall. At this point, I cannot. Grab your heel, foot, and bring it towards your glute stretching through your quad. Once you're in a comfortable position, then you can point your hip forward to deepen that stretch. Beautiful, side two.
always helps to find a place to focus on in order to keep your balance. Looking at a tree outside. Just starting to bud because it's spring, beginning of summer maybe. And three, two, one. Perfect. And we're just going to do a pigeon on either side. So we'll come to downward dog. One heel towards the ground and then the other. And then when you're ready, we'll bring one foot forward over and across to come into pigeon on side one. And now we'll switch sides, so planting the hands, coming back into downward dog, pedaling the heels towards the ground, stretching out those calves. And side two. Still about to bang into that chair, even though I moved it out of the way. Imagine that. Making sure you have enough space for that baby belly. And when you're ready, we'll roll up to a seated position, put the feet together, the soles of the feet, bring the knees towards the mat and stretch through the lower back. So bringing that chest rounded up, pushing up. You're going to feel this in your inner thighs, your adductors there, and your lower back should feel a lengthening stretch, should feel lovely. All the good things. Knees towards the mat. Smile on your face. This is the last exercise, last cool down. Pose. It's better than an exercise word, I guess. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Please let me know what you thought. Hope to hear from you soon and hope you have a great day. See you later.